suit our opponent. The first one is a six cone pursuit. We're going to watch a little bit of film of that in a little bit. But we take six cones, we put them on each side, about two and a half yards spaced apart on each side. We're going to have a, a we'll have our players lined up back here. We'll have a tackle line, a nose line, an inside linebacker line, an outside backer line, a safety line, and a corner line. We're just going to go six at a time. Backer's going to be back six yards, and the, and the safety in the corner will be a little bit closer into here. The kids will then chop their feet, and when the coach um, slaps the ball or he says hit it, then the nose and the tackle are going to do a down up. The coach is going to point a direction after he says hit it, and then all six of these guys are going to run to the six cones on this side or this side. They don't have a predetermined cone to run to. They're going to take the first cone available. So we're working on power run teams that are going to try to run into the alley or C-gap, option teams and spread teams, throwing the bubble. So coach will hit, say hit it, and then he'll turn and point one direction. The first player to get there takes the first cone, second takes the second cone, third takes the third cone, fourth takes the fourth, fifth, and sixth. So and as we do this, it's rapid fire. They go, the next group comes in. That group goes, the next group comes in. Now, if they screw it up, they come back. So I might have this group go. They go this way. This backer, you know, gets messed up and goes to the wrong cone. This coach will give a thumb down to say, uh-uh, you got to go back. So once they, they recollect, they'll get together, break down on the coach, and then they'll come back. Now, while they're breaking down on the coach, the next group will come up, and I'll send them the other way. So it's rapid fire. We're moving. We're running. And we're going to go about five to ten minutes on this, depending on the practice schedule, and really simulate working hard. Now, there are going to be times when they hustle their tails off, and they get here, and they just, they're not sure which cone to go to. That happens to football. How are you going to react to adversity? You know, how are you going to react when things don't go just how they're playing? There are weird things that happen in this football, this game of football. You, you and I both know that. So we're going to constantly do that. Run them in, run them in. So if, if they come over here and the coach gives them a thumb down, they're back on. Coach gives them a thumb up, they go to the end of the line. Now, they get a thumb down, this next group comes in, they go that way, coach gives them a thumb up or thumb down, this coach is going to hold this group so these guys can run on back. We've had groups go four or five times in a row. Sooner or later, they get it right. But it's just a great way of teaching kids to react to that next opening, to that next open window as they're running in pursuit and fitting off the next guy's butt as they're running in pursuit. And you've just got six cones two and a half uh, yards apart. And on the film that we're going to watch of this in a little bit, you'll see we don't even have the cones out there. It's spring ball film and D3. We're not even supposed to have cones, so we don't. So you'll see they're just running every two and a half yards. You'll see coaches doing a thumb up, thumb down. We want them to go to the correct cone, and we want them to make sure that they're running all the way through the cone. No, no low or tolerated. Another pursuit that we'll use is a rabbit pursuit. Teams that like to run a lot of sweeps and outside run game. You know, in this, we're just gonna we're just gonna sprint to the ball, and we're gonna tap the runner, whoever has the ball, on the butt. So you got a coach here, and he's just gonna throw the ball here, throw the ball here, and maybe heave it deep. So everybody's running to the ball, heave it deep. Everybody's running to the ball. Um, we don't do this a lot. Sometimes it gets a little muddied up, especially. Uh, you know, I don't care what level of football you're at, you're going to have guys that aren't as athletic as others and run into the rabbits. But we will do this on occasion to get all 11 guys run to the ball. Another drill that we do, we call our interception return and bubble screen pursuit drill. We'll have coaches here, 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 and here, where we're just working on coming out, lining up. We won't even have a formation. We'll just predetermine that it's double twins, and the coach will smack the ball. These guys will do a down up, and then the coach will throw to one of the coaches. And the more coaches you have, obviously, the more you can place them around. So there we're just working on running and sprinting to the ball. So we might say, hey, we're going to run cover two. Everybody takes their cover two drops. Coach throws the ball. 
We like to do this against teams that run a lot of three-step and a lot of bubble screens. That way, when if we do make an interception, we understand what we want to do. If this guy's dropping into a deep path, he makes the interception. We want him running to the near sidelines and outside the numbers. We want everyone else turning and running all the way to the goal line. That's why we do this on the 10 to lead the way, to lead the way, to lead the way into the end zone for that guy. All right, we're going to go ahead and access the film now and take a look at that, that uh, six-cone pursuit drill. It's a very short film, so go ahead and go to that YouTube link and click on the six-cone pursuit drill. It's just a minute long. I'll give everybody a second to get there, and then I'll start mine up. Again, if you haven't accessed it yet, just type in Coach Troy Abs, Abs with two Bs. If I had one, I'd be fit, and I am not right now. So Abs with two Bs, Coach Troy Abs, right up in there. And then go ahead and click on the one that says Six Cone Pursuit. Just kind of let it run. You'll see a coach telling you there that sound is horrible. You got one coach there that's that's uh, directing them. You can see how they all sprint to the line and they fit off another one. If you watch that first one again, this is pretty good. So you see the first guy's finishing, then the next guy two yards out, and the next guy, and then the defensive linemen are fitting off each other two yards, two and a half yards over there. You see our coach right there giving a thumbs up. These guys are going to come that way. Okay, there, the first guy did not make it to there, so that's going to be a, that. That should be a thumbs down. And you can see the last guy peeling off. Horrible job there. I think that was his first practice. Changing direction on the way. So we're just working on sprinting. And then adjusting as we go, as you can see there, we had a, a, a group that got a thumbs down, so they had to come back. So let's see how they do here. Filling off each other's butts. Every two and a half yards, sprinting all the way through the sideline. Adjusting on the run, making sure they're sprinting all the way through. 